uh, and uh, your opinion on the credit repair industry. Hi, I'm Harry Dent. I write books. I, in fact, I've been doing this for over 20 years now. We project economic trends for decades in the future, not just years. And we've been warning many people for the last years that this, this housing bubble was going to burst, and now it is. We're saying this economy is starting to bounce back in 2009. This is not going to last. The good news in this whole downturn, that this, this deleveraging of, of the greatest credit bubble and housing bubble in history, is there are going to be unbelievable opportunities for entrepreneurs and investors and individuals to acquire assets, real estate, businesses, stocks, anything you interested in Lamborghinis at unbelievably low prices. This is a once in a lifetime opportunity. People understand this. The last time this happened was the 1930s. The trick, and it's very important, if you don't have cash, cash flow, and good credit, you're not going to be able to take advantage of this. If you can generate more cash flow in your business now or in your investments, that's going to help because the people with cash have king. But ultimately, it comes down to being sound, have good cash flow, and credit. Because as you've noticed, since this banking crisis has set in, banks have gotten tighter and tighter. You think they're tight now, they're gonna be tight later. Anything you can do to improve your credit, repair your credit, and, and, and make you look better in that arena is probably gonna be the biggest payoff because who wants to use their cash ultimately if you have it? That's great. But the best way is to be able to borrow when nobody else can. They're the only the people with the top credit scores are going to be able to do that. So do you think that someone uh, who is considering going into business, do you think that, that a credit repair business that helped consumers repair their credit is a, an opportunity that could sustain financial? Yeah. Yes, I, you know, in, in the boom, the best thing to do is to sell real estate and all types of things that went around it. Now that we're deleveraging real estate, obviously the best thing to do is be on the other side. Anything that has to do with foreclosure, credit repair, how to buy distressed real estate, and of course, how do you buy distressed real estate without good credit, cash and cash flows, we're saying. So yes, it's, it's not only a good thing to do personally, it's a good business to get in. This is not going to last a year. This is going to last over the next decade off and on, this type of restructuring of debt and assets. And again, we've told people for a long time, people say, oh, great downturn, great depression. It's the greatest opportunity if you see it coming. There's no question in history, ask Joseph Kennedy in the 20s and 30s, he made his entire fortune just seeing a major downturn coming and having the cash and credit.